When you're growing up, you're told what you can expect is this. Go get a job, get a roof over your head. That's it, try not to fuck it up. But if you did fuck it up, no one would be surprised. I've worked in cafes, restaurants, warehouses, bars, prison. Did you love any of those jobs? Nah. And then you say, I'm going to be the first person to run the length of Africa. Running is like such a primal thing. We were all born to run. And the first thing your mate says is, how the fuck are you going to do that? You're ginger. <laughs> you are taking some grief. Back to 50. You haven't got much in the pocket and your safari vehicle is more of a school bus. I'm not even going to fix that on purpose because I think it adds character to the bus. This is Russ, the unlikely amateur, hugely talented, but with no formal training, what the fuck else am I supposed to do with my life? If I stay around, living experiences that I know what they are, life almost feels like, what's the point in living that? Like, we've, we've seen this story a million times. I don't want to stay around in this little box that I've been going around. We need to push it further. He's going to do just that. Over eight months, with a skeleton crew of social media source misfits, he is going to attempt to run the length of Africa. You kick off with the Sahara Desert. You've got some of the most difficult borders in the world to cross. If you're not going through a war zone, you're going through the Congo rainforest. And if you ain't doing that, then you're in the Namibian desert anyway. There is no respite at any point. Are we worried? We're worried. It's eight months long. That's fucking long. Is he worried? Probably not. I'm way more excited than scared. Projects like Africa are won or lost on training runs just like this. Will he achieve it? Of course he'll achieve it. I have no doubt the man will do it. Already a world record holder, having run from Istanbul home to Worthing, he will face jungles, deserts, war zone and wildlife. If he meets a lion, I feel sorry for the lion. Well, there will be only one king of the jungle and he will have a big ginger mane. From a complicated childhood with mental health a challenge. You know, 17, 18, I was really struggling and I felt like my life was going nowhere. And then when I found running, it gave me a purpose, gave me a direction, it gave me something to overcome. How much can I achieve if I really put my mind to something? Africa for me is like the next step in that, in that it's, a, it's a big step up from everything I've ever done. Russ is going to run for his life. I want to create history, I want to, I want to leave a legacy and I feel like this is going to be a big part of that.